Daddy Stacks, and today we're going to switch it up a little bit for y'all. We got an uh, artist coming straight out of Newark. He goes by the name of Suleiman Ankwe, and he's going to give y'all a different outlook on talent and what he does. I'm talking about from drawing, painting, graphic design, wearable art. Shout out to the shirt that he made for the show, the hat, and the background for our show. Much love, you feel me? And he's just going to tell y'all a little bit about what he does. He has a clothing line out called Slim Suli Art. And he just gonna tell you a little bit about it and what he does. Hey, what's up, what's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, shout out to uh, Live and Direct, first of all, for um, having me here. You know, um, I'm really uh, happy to be on this show, happy to be on this couch, you know. I know sooner or later, you know, there's gonna be a line going all the way from here to China for people <laughs> trying to get here, you know, but yeah, I'm yeah. glad to be here in the beginning stages, you know. And shout out to my family, you know, us eight, you know, you know who you are, you know. Okay, so um, who inspired you to start doing this art? First of all, you know, um, my mother, you know, because she's a very talented artist um, herself. She has a, a line called Goddess Wearable Art. But way before that, you know, I've been drawing since way before preschool. I mean, my stick figures even had a little bit of swag to them, so, <laughs> you know. Okay, so um, where do you get your ideas from for your artwork? You know, basically my, my emotions, you know, I go for, I go off my moods, you know, it might be a movie I saw, it might be a kid's plan, and it might spark something, you know, it might even be a little color scheme that makes me just want to do something, you know. Okay. So, do you enjoy doing this artwork? A hundred percent. If I could just draw, paint, and create 24-7, I would. Okay. So, where do, where do you see yourself going, like future-wise, where do you want your artwork going? From here to Mars and back, you know, I want to expand, you know, I want to go uh, universal, you know, I want to take over, but not in a bad way. Yeah. yeah. So you're trying to take it as far as you can go? <laughs> and then some. And then some. Okay, so I see you brought some of your artwork with you and everything like that, and I just want to, get you know, share a little bit with my fans out there. Okay, well, you know, all right, this first piece right here, you know, um, this is like, uh, Hip hop is worldwide, you know. Hip hop in America, it's like a hip hop flag almost, you know. The hand crushing the microphone, showing how the skills of a hip hop artist, you know, that you squeezing the life out of a mic. That's how hard you rapping with the lyrics. And then you got the, you know, red, white, and blue, just almost like a hip hop flag. Okay, that's really nice. <laughs> they say every picture paints a, uh, tells a story, so, you know. You got any more artwork that you want to show us out there? I got a few more, you know. This this one right here, actually, you know, is a collage, you know. And now my clothing line, you know, was called canvas wear, because you also, you know, actually, we paint on the shirt like it's a canvas. So that's why it says canvas wear. This was actually pieces of an actual shirt that I cut off and hot glued on to this to make something else. So that's something that I started doing like a couple of years ago where as I want to make some old into something new. Mm -hmm. So we also had another line called uh, Homage. So it goes from the bottom here, Homage. Like paying homage to like a lot of different people, a lot of different things, people who did stuff in the, um, in the um, past. So this was one of my abstract pieces uh, that I did. So I'll put this right here. Okay. I got uh, another one right here, not to cut you off, but this one right here is called Urban Folklore. And I uh, presented this at my um, art show last year at the Heldridge Hotel. And that's this nice hotel uh, in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, and the name of my um, show was called, uh, I'm sorry, called Urban Folklore. And I had, you know, had uh, another partner there, that another artist, his name was Cortez Robinson, 
very very great artist that he actually had uh, did his show with me. So the show ran from February to June, which is like was major for me, you know, because I had about 18 of my own pieces there, and he had about 18 of his own, and it was in two different rooms in this nice hotel, you yeah. know. And I sold a couple a couple of pieces, but with this here, it's it's abstract meets collage meets surrealism. Because if you look closely, some images you see right away, and then some you don't. Mm -hmm. And if you look closer, it's little images of people there in this large face that's right here. So you see this face, this is a person smiling in his arm and another little person, the feet are here, the <laughs> head, see? This is another little image here. See the little head, the arms, and the feet. See, it's all like a little couple of images coming together just to make that face. It's really so nice. Oh, I appreciate that. So once, sometimes you don't see it right away. So that's another side of my art. I try to get you to look closer. So that's another style that I have. Um, I think I have another one piece here. See. This one right here actually promoted like the canvas wear label that we were pushing. You know, it was just pretty, like a little ad, mm -hmm. you know. And this character here is called Sketch Painter. I always have this uh, this character with the spiky hair like that, little spiky type afro, and um, I put him in different um, areas. This even on, on your shirt right there, you know. If you look, you see how he has the spiky yeah. hair right there. And this is my logo here for canvas wear. It's like an abstract um, easel with the canvas on type, the top of it, you know. So this is that hair. And I think I got one more, just, you know, one more piece here, also with sketch painting, you know. This is almost like my my graffiti type style that I wanted to use, but I, I use um, at, um, acrylic. I always like graffiti art, so that was just like my way of trying to make it look like some type of graffiti on a wall. I never really actually did it on a wall, but I, was, I, I did some murals but I never spray painted anything on the wall so I just have different styles when it comes to doing art and this is just some of the stuff that I have okay well I mean I like your artwork you know it's really nice and I see a lot of talent inside of it so but I hear you doing something positive out there in the community I hear you um our art teacher yeah yeah recently I've been blessed to uh, meet a lady who actually knew my mother and they did business together and she my mother actually has her uh, clothing in her shop it's a shop called creative experiences on um, Bloomfield Avenue 615 615 Bloomfield Avenue um, in Bloomfield New, uh, New Jersey and at 1130 uh, a.m. on Saturdays I usually have my um, art classes where I teach them how to actually do the wearable art that was like the first four weeks. That's what we did first. Was you come there, and I'm gonna teach you the skills of how to create these shirts. Not just to come there and do one workshop. I want you to be able to learn the skill to be able to take it back home with you and do it on your own. Because imagine someone nine years old, and then about by the time they're 16, getting orders from other people that had to do it like about 12 three or four dozen shirts, you know, and making money off it, you know, because yeah. I want them to get that. I want to give it back because I can't keep it all. I got to give it out to somebody else. Okay, that's a good outlook on the community. So I hear you also have a uh, comic book coming out. Definitely. You know, um, we have a, uh, a business, well, our label is called On Q Comics. You know, with my brother Samad Ankwe and myself, we working on, you know, trying to put Marvel and DC out of business because you know <laughs> we have all the black superheroes because there's not enough out there you know they get stereotyped but we got our own they, they, I don't know if they're ready yet but they better get ready because I'm telling you this is something that's gonna be so big it's gonna it's gonna be worldwide and when we drop it everybody gonna want to see it. I'll make sure I get a copy of that. Oh, definitely you know we send it to live and direct you know we get it to y'all be the first ones. So you got any footage that we can see when your comic book coming out soon? Definitely you know we have a link on YouTube. Uh, Oh, <laughs> 